Hey, how's it going everybody? Miguel Quiles here. I'm a uh, Sony artisan of imagery and really excited today. I'm in New York City for the announcement for this new camera, which is the RX100 Mark VI. And there's a lot of really exciting features that they have like jam packed into this really small camera body. Um, so let's briefly talk about what's in this camera. So to begin things, you've got a 24 millimeter to 200 millimeter lens, which is basically put into this camera body that's like one millimeter bigger than the older RX100 series cameras. It's really, to me, just amazing. Like it's a technological, just mind boggling feat to me that they're able to take a small camera body like this and put a 24 to 200 millimeter. Essentially what they've done is they've taken two of my favorite focal lengths, which is, uh, or two of my favorite lenses, which is a 24 to 70 and a 70 to 200, basically blended it together and put it into this very, very small uh, camera body. So that's kind of the, the headline of this camera, but there's a lot of really exciting things that they also managed to do with this camera. So inside of this, you have a one inch sensor, uh, which is backside illuminated. And this is something that you'll see in some of the other uh, Sony cameras like the uh, a7 III, uh, really the newer a7 uh, and a9 series, they're all backside illuminated sensors, uh, which give you really amazing image quality. You also have a fast hybrid autofocus, and they're saying that this is the uh, world's fastest autofocus. This is at 0.03 seconds, which is extremely fast for uh, just being able to lock in your focus. You have 315 phase detect autofocus points as well with high density tracking autofocus. So uh, basically what that means is that when it's tracking, it's actually able to figure out what the subject is in that frame and it tracks it better. So if you're uh, tracking somebody who's running or wildlife or things of that nature, once it locks in, uh, it does a really fantastic job of holding on to whatever it is that's in focus. Just like the RX100 Mark V, you have 24 frames per second, um, and you can shoot up to 233 frames uh, with this. So it's pretty awesome to be able to go out and if you're shooting, again, some kind of wildlife or sports or whatever the case might be, uh, to get 24 frames per second, you're pretty much ensured that you're gonna get the shot, right? So uh, really fantastic feature of this uh, new RX100 Mark VI. They've also increased the performance of the eye autofocus. And uh, during the event, they showed a, a pretty interesting demo where uh, they had somebody standing there and it tracked the eye, he kind of turns around and uh, it shifted from eye autofocus to fa uh, facial recognition. But then once he turned back around, you could actually see his eye in the frame, which was pretty interesting. So they did a really good job with that. Along with that, you also have touch autofocus. So you do have a touch screen on the back of this camera. Uh, you still have silent shooting. You still have high frame rates as well for your video. So you can shoot in up to 120 frames per second in HD. Um, on the 4K side of things, this does shoot 4K internally, which is really exciting, uh, but they actually added HDR to the mix. So you could actually shoot HLG uh, HDR format with this camera. So truly this camera does everything. You could take uh, stills in, in high frame rates um, with a really long zoom lens and uh, you can shoot 4K up to HDR 4K and to pack all of this into a camera that basically fits into your back pocket, it's truly insane. So. What we're gonna do is I actually have some people that I'm going to interview to ask them some additional questions about this product. Uh, so what we're gonna do is I wanna show you the uh, clip of the interview with Eldeen, who works with Sony uh, here in the US. And he's gonna give us some additional details about this camera. Hey, how's it going everyone? So uh, I'm here in New York City at the Sony release event for the RX100 Mark VI, here with Eldeen, who works at uh, Sony Corporate. If you watch any product videos in the past, you've seen this guy's mug. Uh, <laughs> so uh, I figured I'd bring him on on this video to talk about this new camera, because there's a lot of new stuff that, I mean, it's really exciting stuff. I've got the uh, Mark IV and the Mark V, so I was pretty hyped up to see now we've got the VI. And so, Eldeen, tell us a little bit about the camera. All right, so um, first of all, let's start off and have a look at the camera. Obviously, uh, RX100 series, very iconic. You know, this is now the six in the line of RX series. I think I've, the same as you, I've got the, I have a two ones, a four and a five. Yeah, 
So almost a year. I haven't used the one before. The one came out in 2012 and uh, it's going strong. You know, I still use it in the water housing. It's a great camera. That's but awesome. they're basically, as you know, going through the lineup, they're all pretty much exactly the same size and we've kept the same size with this uh, new one. It's minor, you wouldn't even notice the difference if you had to pick up the two cameras side by side, uh, the difference in it. But there's a bunch of updates and primarily the big update is the, the lens. You know, we're going from a, uh, as you know, 24 to 70, a really good focus, uh, focal length on the uh, previous models. And this one takes a little bit step further. So when you extend the lenses, you can see they look slightly different, right? right? But you're gonna see that difference when you zoom out. And you can see the new model, the uh, Mark VI, actually has a 24 to 200 millimeter lens in this tiny little camera. Now that's, that, that's the biggest thing. Yeah, right? that's that's a big deal. I mean, I. They, they almost blended, because what, the, the RX-10 has a... The RX-10, the original RX-10, the Mark I and Mark II, mm -hmm. have a 24 to 200 constant f2.8. Right. And then the Mark III But I mean, it's such four. a big, but, well, it's a bigger camera compared much bigger. to this. I mean, right. you can't put that in your pocket. Same size sensor, though. That's crazy. Right, which is insane. Nice. So this really takes it a step further. This is, this is really taking it to, to the next level. Um, it's not a constant aperture. It's f2.8 to uh, 45. Mm -hmm. Which is still um, respectable for... Oh, absolutely. I mean, absolutely. You know, if it was a 5.6, I mean, even right. still, that would be usable for me. Yeah. 4.5 is really good. Yeah, and even at 100 millimeters, mm -hmm. it's still f4. You yeah, know, so awesome. so you're getting, you know, you, you the, obviously you know with the with the higher you telephoto, the more you crush the background, and right. you can actually get a shallower depth of field at that uh, that rate anyway. Right. Um, a bunch of other features that have been updated: the uh, tilt LCD tilts up 180 degrees, like the previous ones, but it now also tilts down 90 degrees. Oh, that's awesome. uh, this is in the way over so here. Let me see. Let me do this one in comparison. Well, I've also got this one on the grip, so it's not going to go all the way, oh, but, yeah. but it, well, does, it does go down 90 degrees, yeah. which is much better. The touchscreen has been uh, um, updated as well, which is really amazing. So now you have touch AF that you can pull focus, but it also has a touch shutter, which is really cool. That's awesome. So, you know, have the, have the camera set, look for your point, touch what you want to take a photo of, it'll focus on that point, set your uh, exposure on that point, and then take the photo as well, which That's is really crazy. cool. I uh, also like it for uh, doing video. Um, Improved the 4K video on the camera, which is really great. So you have um, HDR now? You have HDR, HLG on a tiny little baby camera it's crazy. like this. It's insane. Um, and there's a few other things that have been uh, improved. So um, taking something off the RX10 Mark IV, uh, which has got the 600 millimeter lens, right. it has a step zoom. So you can go into your menu setting and you can uh, do the step zoom, mm -hmm. um, which means if you set it to the ring, as you turn, it'll jump through all your uh, standard primes, right? Okay. So 24, 35, 50, 85, 90, 100, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right. as you go through all the way up to 200, nice. which is really convenient if you want to pull a specific focal length instead of using the toggle to zoom in and yeah. out. Now, the other thing that's really cool that's been updated, which um, used to be not a bug of mine, but something that I would like, pop up the viewfinder on that one. Okay, so all right. a little... And then what you have to do? Uh, pull this out. Pull the uh, optic yep. out, right? And now mm -hmm. push it back down again. Push You'll push it in and push it down. This one, I pop it up and you see the oh, optic cool. pops out already, all right? Yep, push it back down go. and just go straight back down. Much quicker. So uh, also uh, high resolution is really um, all around. The camera has been improved. Uh, still the 24 uh, frames per second mm -hmm. as we had on the Mark V. Um, the focus system has been increased tremendously to track the focus. So right. uh, plus the, the buffer, so about 233 images uh, at 20, uh, 24 frames a second at 20 megapixels. So it's incredible. So you could actually shoot basically short clips at 24 megapixels would be about between six and eight K. Right, um, it's insanity. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> so you can go a little bit further. All in a, a camera that literally fits in your pocket. This is one of the things yeah. that I love about the form factor. And now, I mean, I love the 24 to 70 on this uh, yes, camera, yeah, but now too. to have 24 to 200, oh, yeah. I mean, that's that's scary. Yeah, there's no excuse to take this camera with you everywhere. Yeah. And, and you know, anybody still shooting on a cell phone needs to be shot because this yeah. is, honestly- The, the this, resolution, I've seen yeah. some of the images up here yeah. at the event that were printed out, and I'm not sure how big those were, 16 uh, I think they were 17 by 11, somewhere 17. around that they're, they're, they're quite big, big. Prints, yeah, yeah. and I mean, the quality Super looks sharp. amazing right, right. for a pocket camera. Yeah. It doesn't make sense why anybody would shoot on a cell phone when exactly. you've got so much in this Exactly. Body. So now internally there's a bunch of other updates. So the same one inch size uh, backside illuminated stack CMOS sensor that we have on the, uh, the Mark V, however we've updated the uh, focus system. 
camera will focus in 0.03 seconds. It can acquire focus, so it's extremely fast in terms of acquiring focus. Um, all the algorithms have been improved for focus tracking. Um, we also added into this the uh, uh, density uh, uh, focus tracking system that we have on some of our bigger cameras. So once you start tracking focus on a subject, it'll actually make all the points around it a little denser right. and be able to track uh, a lot uh, better, in, even in very challenging low light situations or fast moving situations. The camera is able to track much quicker, much more accurately than previous. And having you know face detection on sensor on a small little camera like this, traditionally that was reserved for you know um, mirrorless and DSLR right. cameras, right? More Shooting in live view, view, right? Yep. So um, you know, being able to track focus um, all the way through to the telephoto end, um, you know, is is one thing. Being able to get to the telephoto end is another one, and then the optical stabilization system is incredible. Um, up to four stops shutter speed uh, advantage with this camera, even at 200 millimeters. So in other words, handheld at 200 millimeters, you can actually hold this four stops better than what you could do with a uh, regular camera. That's nice. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. I mean, honestly, it, there really is no reason to have a cell phone to take photos that aren't going to take yeah. pictures in such good quality. Sure. There was something that was really interesting to me, which was this tripod. Yeah. yeah. So is this new? Because so this, this is the first is, time I'm seeing this. Thing. Yeah, this is a brand new little tripod. So this is the, uh, um, I think it's, I can't remember the full name. It's uh, VCT SG1. Uh, this is a little tripod, um, very cool form factor, small size, re really made for the uh, RX series of cameras. So you can sit it down like that, you can pick it up really easily, and you can see that it's actually wired right. to the camera via the USB port. And what you'll see on there is we have a uh, rec uh, start stop yep. for our uh, video, a uh, shutter button for the stills, and then a zoom toggle. So what it allows me to do now is zoom in and out with the with the zoom toggle I was wide there so now I can zoom in and out by using the the handle in addition to that it makes a really cool selfie camera right yep, so, so we can we sit can over vlog. here we can vlog we can here we get recording right there I like it I can zoom in and out if I want to from here, which is really cool. That's really cool. easy to use as well. Um, and this has just been announced as well. It will launch around about the same time as the camera. Does uh, it work with the older RX series? It does. It goes all the way back except for the uh, Mark 1. The Mark 1 didn't have the same uh, USB, USB port. Right. right. Well, it had a USB, but not the same port. And then obviously we can just set it down and you can use it as a, as a tripod. And it's a That's really cool. stable little tripod, which is cool as well. That's pretty yeah. awesome. Yeah. So. Awesome. Um, and this is actually, you know, painting out to be the perfect, you know, vlogging or blogging style setup. You yeah. know, the camera and the and the grip together. You know, and even if you have previous model RX, it also works with RX Zero. So that makes it a really small little package. Interesting. Yeah. And so this uh, new camera, I believe, was twelve hundred US. So yeah, twelve hundred uh, US, one uh, one one nine nine. Um, the little tripod is going for ninety nine dollars. Awesome, awesome, very cool. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the uh, links for these products in the description for this video so that uh, you guys can check it out. And I plan on shooting some more videos around this. Hopefully I can take it out at some point and uh, take some photos and kind of give you guys some uh, ideas of what the image quality looks like. But I mean, on paper, this thing is a beast. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I, I've, I've, been, I, yeah, I've been using it for a week. Um, fortunately, you know, I, I managed to get them as they land. We started testing over here in the US and uh, what, I, what I found really cool is I was you know going out and about and taking photos and everybody knows I carry my RX100 yeah. you know Mark 5 with me so nobody even questioned that it was a different camera it looked yeah, exactly yeah, the, same. the same <laughs> exactly yeah, my, my. I do the same I, I had the 4 I would walk around with the 5 and literally I mean while I'm walking around instead of using my cell phone to take photos yeah. I just pop this thing out and the battery right. lasts a very long time oh, yeah. which I've been very surprised um, and you still have your uh, Wi-Fi and NFC so right. you know using the Play Memory camera app that's iOS or Android based you yep. can uh, transfer them over to your yeah, phone yeah you can either control the control the camera with your phone uh, let's say for instance you want to get a wider shot and you set it up on the tripod you can con you know you can step way back and right. you know frame yourself with the phone and control the camera or just transfer your images uh, directly to your phone and share them from there you know then you get that, that's typically what I do I get much better quality images out of my RX uh, 100 and then transfer them to my phone and upload them from there that's much much better way to do it that's pretty yeah. awesome yeah. that's pretty awesome well thank you so much for joining cool. I know it's a busy Thanks. day today so yeah. there's people watching us uh, clamoring they, they're standing in the yeah, they're like, like we, we need to it. take him and we need to take <laughs> this camera so uh, thanks for uh, joining thanks for giving us these uh, extra bits of information about the camera make sure you guys subscribe to the channel I have more videos that are gonna be coming out and of course anytime new products come out hopefully uh, I'll be around and I'll be able to 
pester you like I always do to try to get we the like interviews. Yeah. So uh, thanks for watching everyone and we'll see you in the next video. Cool, thank you.